All right, uh, today we've got a dune buggy, not just a regular dune buggy, but a Tesla powered uh, EV buggy. And we wanna go over the build with you guys. Check it out. So we have John Gould here with us. And as I mentioned, John runs a shop up in uh, Anaheim, Playtech. Uh, they do a lot of, you guys do off-road builds, competition builds. A lot of um, race you guys cars. racing. Yeah, a lot doing of street a lot cars. of that stuff. Yeah. And uh, so what's unique about this platform and the buggy and the reason we want to get John in here is because he was involved in the design process and the build. And when we started this vehicle, when we started the build, we actually did the design work first and then had John prepare the chassis for us because we did do uh, a pan-based battery. So it needs mm -hmm. some structural reinforcements in there. And then we did a little battery pack in the back here. So we have a combined 54 kilowatt hour to try and get the customer some range. It's of course a little tougher with the large tires and the off-road. Um, but uh, thanks for coming in, John. Really appreciate it. John, it's we're awesome gonna to just kind of go over some bits and pieces on the vehicle and some things uh, that John did to prepare the vehicle to be electrified. Um, and I uh, thought it was just a great opportunity to talk about some of that stuff. Yeah, heck yeah. First thing that we started on when we worked on the vehicles, the battery pack. Battery packs. Uh, in the chassis. Now you guys uh, did a body lift to give more space between the yeah. seats. Yeah. Right, and so how does, how what's the context of the body lift? How is that? So not only does the body lift give us another three inches of the body coming up for our suspension travel, mm -hmm. Um, it allowed us to raise the seats up right. another three inches, which gives us that battery pack room. Right. And then we took the chassis up to compensate that. So yeah. everything is just moved up that three inches. Right. And, and the body lift, so you're on an original pan? Original still? pan. Right. So that's a Volkswagen pan that's Correct. been shortened for the dune buggy length. Correct. Right. And then my, and I call those the frame rails. That's kind of the backbone of the car. Right. Yeah. So that's yeah. our strength right around right. the whole I'd outside. imagine that that's dual purpose because it would add so much strength. For sure. Yeah. 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 For sure. Especially yeah. when you put some battery packs in there, they get heavy. Right. So, right. Yeah. So then, uh, if you guys are visualizing this and know a Volkswagen pan, so we've got the perimeter with the lift kit on it. Correct. And then now we had two batteries, one under each seat. Correct. And then what did you do with the tunnel? So the tunnel point? still comes back in through the middle of the car here. Yeah. This. And that still kept the backbone of the car down the center, which we kept a lot of wiring, brake lines. You can right. keep a, kind so of hide a lot of stuff the, in there. So you can see the factory tunnel Correct. is still in there. Correct. And we and raised the floor, did a subfloor underneath for storage. Right. With the extra room. Right. Yeah, which is very creative and a good use of that space. So they kind of had this extra pocket of space. Yeah. Um, they had some, you know, our batteries went up and then stopped at a certain point. And to continue that space, they actually made storage and lockable storage. Lockable storage. Uh, yeah. Which is valuable in an open, open car. Yeah. Um, the so um, the pan is uh -huh. a '60s or '70s Volkswagen pan. This one's a '69 pan. '69 yeah. pan. So Started it's an IRS, IRS pan. Yeah. Okay. And yeah. but you don't use any of that. No. Right. We use. We even cut the horns off. Yeah. To, and then then we brought it down to you for for the the Tesla package. Right. The, then we did the subframe for the correct. for the to support the battery. Which is awesome the, the way you do the 930 CVs. That's, right. That's, but but something like this like theoretically if a customer had a dune buggy uh -huh. with a VW pan they could use the factory we we're in. Correct. Right. This is correct. so this is just this is an extreme build. This is you know kind of uh, going to the limit of what you can do. In fact uh, our modified. customer in you this, this has a unique feature. It has doors on it. For sure. We I, came up with doors a few years ago. Yeah. It just makes it way way easier to get in we're getting older climbing yeah. in or whatever but it does make it a lot easier to get in these cars yeah. for sure and you can see the nice work there with the, the cage 4130 and, chromoly right, chassis right, front right, to back right. keep this car from twisting and keeps it very strong um, this car we're running king shocks on uh, this is a beam front end 
so it's based off a stock Volkswagen. Right. But it's been widened six inches. Yeah. And then we go, we stretch the front end back. We, we lengthen the car six inches. Okay. Then we put a two and a half front trailing arm on it, which shorten the wheelbase back. Right, right. So everything, okay. you gotta think. So you have way to ahead. push it out there because the length of the trailing arm actually Correct. shortens up the wheelbase Correct. again. Right. Correct. And you need that for the travel. For sure. And yeah. I gotta say, uh, this is the nicest handling beam car it works I've ever really, driven. It works it's surprisingly really, really well. Right. Very well. Our um, new way arms are even better. They just have a little more travel, a little more body roll. Right. So people got to right. get used to that. And you're working on some future stuff that's kind of like um, uh, evolution of this, right? For now, sure. Are, are those going to have beam front ends or are they going to be I, A arm? They're going to be an A arm system. A arm. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah those, right. We're working on that right now. Yeah. And John's also building us an A arm Baja bug on another project. So he's super Correct. excited about this stuff. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's unfortunate that we have to work on customer cars before we work <laughs> we on our, our own stuff, stuff, but we got to pay the bills. But it's in the works. Get all that stuff out. But yeah, we got some really, really neat stuff that we can't wait to show you guys. So, um, original tunnel, lift it up, you reinforce the rear end. What kind of, um, and we went over the front end, uh -huh. what kind of trailing arms are on the rear? Now, they usually will. Uh, rate these as far as how many inches further back Correct. they go and further out they go what would this typical From a stock system be factory irs this is uh, called a three by three with a, yeah. a three inches longer right. three inches wider okay so it gives us a six inch wider stance on the car yeah and then we run a 33 10 50 tire on it uh -huh. and we're sitting about 76 inches wide okay wow so it keeps the car yeah. stable yeah, and I'm sorry, I think you said it, but the beam was widened. Six inches wider Six also. inches, so three inches each side. Correct. And then it sets it up, and you can look, it's, it sits really nice and square. Yeah. Uh, Keep the know, tires Compact the wheelbase, yeah, and that gives, of course, for this crawling, you know, a ton of clearance underneath. I know we took clearance. it up over the high bank over here, yeah. and it, it just went right yeah. over it, no it's problem. It's amazing what these things will climb. Absolutely yeah. crazy. Yeah. Uh, you did, this is kind of unique. I don't really ever see rear seats in a dune buggy and sometimes I see them and they're a little shoehorned in there but this looks we a got little a bit full, more we could fit two yeah. full adults in the back of yeah. this car six foot adults and they look higher kind of like a stadium seating so they still have we did stadium seating yeah. for sure um, keeps people a little more vision out the car yeah yeah and it, it works the the raked roof line is really neat it's yeah. not you we know do, you usually see these a little more in. yeah old school looking and this squared up we've been and, working with on a lot yeah. of cars yeah but the new chassis we're coming out with is going to be awesome. That's yeah. 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 And now the owner, um, this is you know not a show car. This is rust. This is dirt chips in the paint. He drives it. He drives it. He uses this car. Yeah, and he goes to some of the Southern California organized yeah. events. Yeah. Um, and it's it's out there. So you know if you're a car guy and do off road stuff and. Yeah. Southern California, you might run across this car, definitely run up to the owner and say hi, he's a nice guy and yeah. you know, loves to talk cars and all things technical. And um, He drives it on the street a lot, it's 100% yeah. street legal. Yeah. It's even got DOT safety glass yep. in it, everything is yep. turn yeah, signals, Yeah, you've added lights, the windshield and windshield wipers. one of my favorite things, you know, dune buggies, you want to keep them lightweight, so you got to show this feature off, but it's a manual windshield wiper. There's literally a knob in here and you grab the knob and yeah. run it over yeah and i just absolutely love that especially for an open car you're not going to be driving this in really bad inclement weather you know most of the time you probably just want to knock a few things you know hopefully mud yeah. off the windshield yeah. or hopefully not because you're in front <laughs> we installed a winch system on this car mm -hmm. um, a lot of my customers like that uh it's funny because he hasn't needed it for himself he uses he's, it together i've heard i've heard he's been yeah. rescuing people he's been rescuing people combustion power people correct <laughs> yeah um something else so we did we did uh, a system that we sell, the e-power steering system, and you yes. guys installed that, and then we got to talking, and it turns out you've been using this yeah. for years, longer for than years. us, yeah. and so that was neat. Electric uh, so steering. we both really recommend it. We'd like for the sure. e-power steering system. We sell it on our site, John sells it. Yeah. Uh, it's got an adjustable knob for the power output, but you guys installed this inside, yeah. and inside. that keeps all the componentry kind of clean and out clean of the way. Clean out of the water, and if yeah. you're running through little rivers or whatever. Yeah, yeah. and it's adjustable, so if for guys sure. like uh, to you know get the forearm pump you can you can turn it actually off right uh, i have a similar system in my volkswagen bus and i just i rave about it and you know we talk you know people call up and they ask about the quote and we tell them there's options these are the options that we're talking about options, like power yeah. steering can really make or break your experience of this it might mean the difference between you know your wife or somebody else even yeah. being able to drive it with For the sure. big oversized off-road tires so 
for sure. Um, and of course, you guys worked with All German Motorsports yes. and did some of the shock stuff. We love All German Motorsports. They helped us with our Bonneville car. Their CV awesome. savers kept very, all the grease nice in there. Yeah. 240 miles an hour, uh, they've been tested. Yeah. I think that's faster than most of the off-road guys oh, yeah. go. Oh yeah, quite a bit <laughs> so, faster. Yep. Um, and uh, you've of course got their jack system that uses the portable uh, driver drill batteries and just just yeah. a really neat all around build. And I think the, the best thing about this is, um, you know, people have seen it around the shop. Mm -hmm. uh, we've done some videos and stuff with it. Uh, and for no other reason than the owner just likes to share. The car right. has been flawless. It's been running the whole time. We've been testing it for um, what, about three years Yeah, now. yeah. He won a trophy at yeah. the last yeah. uh, Big Bear run. And, um, he's and it's taken... pretty cool. He can still flat tow it. Yeah, right. That's we, important. We put a tow hitch system on it and plug yeah. it in. And it's got trailer lights and it's all built in. Right. And that's a, that's a, you know, I'm glad you brought that up because this is a dune buggy. So it's a secondary vehicle. So people do like to kind of, you know, uh, use these as vacation of towing sure. behind yeah, a motor home is the yeah. most common thing. Yep. And uh, my dad is into it. So we were kind of talking. And now the neat thing about the Tesla motor is it's a mechanical lubrication pump. So as long mm -hmm. as those wheels are turning, your main ring gear is turning and it's running that pump and it stays lubricated. Now, Tesla, I believe mm -hmm. does not recommend flat towing, but we've been doing right. it now for quite some time. It never had any issues with it. Um, and so we just wanted to talk a little bit about that. If anybody's gonna be flat towing an applica application, definitely reach out to us and we can talk about it. Right. Um, and then we did, we did, we, we weren't quite perfected with our electric parking brake on this. And you did right. a hydraulic parking brake. Correct. Very important on the parking brake. And we're actually, we're going to go in and retrofit this with an electric yes. one. Um, we really like the Tesla system. I do too. Um, awesome. We've developed our own controller now that we can uh, trigger with CAN bus. And we can actually, um, we have a feature now where we can actually trigger it, send a strength signal to it and have it clamp. Really clamp. At different out. pressures and for different uh, weight vehicles and stuff like that. So, John, thanks again for your time. Thank I you really very appreciate much. Appreciate it. Really Play appreciate it. Playtech up there in Anaheim. Check them out if you need anything off road. And uh, and if you want a street electric buggy, coming out keep with an a new yeah, four door yeah, car. Keep an eye. Keep an eye on this guy. And yeah. uh, have fun. Thanks for joining us. And we'll see you next time.